Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and in today's video I want to do a 12-week uh, a review on uh, the Trainer Road Indoor Cycling Program. Now, um, as you guys know, I've been doing the Trainer Road Program now for, uh, I've actually done the Sweet Spot Base uh, High Volume Plan. I've done that twice now to, to completion. I just recently finished up my second round of it and uh, so I wanted to do uh, a review on Trainer Road from my from my own personal experiences based off of uh, 12 weeks of training and uh, doing the sweet spot based plan uh, twice. Now just a couple of uh, basic thoughts. One is uh, Trainer Road is, is really good for giving you uh, structure in your workouts and kind of being a much cheaper alternative to hiring a cycling coach. Um, now, you know, coaches, I've never had a cycling coach personally, you know, like an individual coach that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis that gives you a training, you know, program and kind of tells you, you know, what rides to do and kind of when to recover this and that. So, uh, but those can be, it can be very expensive, you know, to have a coach. I mean, you could literally spend, you know, uh, basically having a coach for one month would be, you know, a lot more money than having Trainer Road for a whole year subscription. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid, I think it was like $99, or it was like $100 for my annual subscription to Trainer Road. So basically, for $99 a year, I get access to all of the Trainer Road programs and to their, all the workouts, all of their individual, uh, you know, st uh, structuredized programs. And so from a, from a, uh, you know, for, for what you get and what you pay, I think Trainer Road's a very good alternative um, for any cyclist, whether you're just a recreational rider that wants to, you know, hang on in your local group ride, or if you're an involved, if you're a very avid racer, Trainer Road has a, has a tremendous value from what I can see. And the number one thing that I like about Trainer Road is I just, I love how the program is so structured and pretty much all you have to do is show up and you know just bring motivation to the table and if you follow the trainer road programs you're gonna see some uh, some pretty drastic results now I wanted to to mention to you guys um, exactly what my res my results have been now after 12 weeks of using trainer using trainer road um, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel here for a while you know I've been kind of doing weekly updates on my progress um, but this video is for anybody that's, you know, maybe just seeing this for the first time or, you know, that uh, is just looking for a basic trainer road review. Um, the results I have seen now, again, I've been doing trainer road for 12 weeks. I've done the sweet spot base high volume uh, number two twice. And I have, I've been, I feel like I have been extremely committed to the, to the plan and have tried to push myself as hard as I possibly could have. So with that being said, when I first did my first ever FTP test on Trainer Road, which I do feel like I undershot a tad. Now don't get me wrong. I mean, I, w I did a very hard effort. I, I rode for all I was worth. But I do feel like I, I could have done a little bit more. Okay, I, I do feel like I left something in the tank. So, but that first, my first FTP test on Trainer Road was 224 watts which I thought was a pretty fair assessment at the time from where I figured I was based off what I had been seeing all summer in my outdoor riding and in races. I figured I was around 220 to 230 FTP, and, and that's where I tested, 224. So I would say I got a pretty fair assessment, even though I think I could have maybe pushed just a tad higher. But I, I was all in on that ride, on that first FTP ride. And again, I tested at 224. And here I sit 12 weeks later, after having done the sweet spot base high volume plan on two occasions, which equals 12 weeks of training, um, my FTP now, today, sits at 288 watts. So, the, um, I mean, doing the math, that is a 64 watt uh, jump in FTP over 12 weeks. And I'll be honest with you guys, I am ecstatic with those results. I never, honestly, I really never would have thought I would have progressed that well um, in the 12 weeks. Because I, I felt like I came into the program pretty pretty fit. I mean, I rode my tail off all last summer. I did a lot of racing. 
I did well in my races. I, I thought I was coming to the, to the table pretty fit, and I, and I was. But I had really honestly never done any really kind of formalized structured training before. I always just kind of went out and, you know, just tried to do my best at mixing and matching hard and easy days. And what I can see now after having ridden with Trainer Road I, I, and looking back, I can see where I was simply riding too hard too often. You know, I was pretty much every day at some point, uh, uh, unless I was doing a strictly recovery ride, which wasn't very often, um, pretty much if I was out on the bike, at some point I was doing a VO, you know, looking back, at some point I was doing a VO2 max level uh, effort. And you, you can't do those day in and day out. You can, but you're going to fall victim to the to plateauing. And I tell you what, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm amazed with the results I've had on Trainer Road. I mean, now I can ride 224 watts, again, I'm not pretty easily and I, and I and I tested at 224 watts 12 weeks ago that's what I tested at on an eight minute on on two eight minute efforts I tested at 224 watts and now like I said now I can ride I can ride 224 watts all day probably honestly I, I can ride 224 watts for a long time so I have seen tremendous tremendous results with trainer road after 12 weeks, I'm getting ready to start up their new, their new uh, sweet spot base high volume plan. The new one they just came out with here a few weeks ago. Um, getting ready to start that one out. But I love the structure that Trainer Road gives you. I love the fact that there's no cheating the workouts. Um, Trainer Road, when you're doing, just for an example, when you're doing one of their, you know, any of their rides, but when you're doing one of those really hard, you know, like a point. Nine zero intensity factor or higher ride when you're doing one of those really tough rides and you and you you either have two choices you either get through the intervals okay and and hit your power marks or you don't and there, you know there's no middle ground you know it's like i said there's it's very difficult to cheat the workout um it's a great way to hold yourself accountable it's a great way to simulate having that stronger rider in front of you Okay, and the way I look at it is when I'm in that hard effort and I'm at my very limit and I've got, you know, two minutes to go in this tough interval and I feel like quitting. I'm not going to get wrong. I feel like quitting to me and I look over at the screen and I see that I've got, you know, two minutes to go in this hard interval and I just, if I can just hold on for two more minutes, I've made it. To me, that is that faster wheel out there. That's that guy in front of me that's faster. I'm chasing that wheel and I'm just focusing on getting through this interval and I just find it super motivating and I just find it like I said a great way to to push yourself individually because when I was out in the road trying to do tough intervals it's a lot easier it's a lot easier to pull the mental plug on your workout to say okay that was hard enough and, and ease up whereas on trainer road like I said you either hit the numbers or you don't and if and if you don't you know, that's, you know, that's on you. And nine times out of 10, it's probably a mental decision you made to pull out of the interval. Whereas, like I said, I, you know, I always had the mentality of, I am going to get through this interval if it, unless it kills me. So it's a great way to hold yourself accountable. It's a great way to push yourself. Um, there's no cheating the workouts. You either do them or you don't. It's a great way to track your progress. Every time you do a workout, and come back to the same workout, you know, a week or two later, and have higher numbers. You know you're improving, so it's a great uh, way to continue to motivate yourself. You see the results. I love the structure of the program. Um, the you know the coaches at Trainer Road, um, they do a great job. The uh, the on screen text throughout the workouts is really great. They you know they let you know what's going on during the ride, what you should be thinking about, what you've got coming ahead of you, you know, different ways of getting through it. Um, I, I, like I said, guys, I mean, if you follow my channel, you, you know, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't say enough good things about Trainer Road. I think it's a phenomenal training program and bang for buck value. I would say it's the best thing. It's the best thing going. Um, I did the Zwift thing for a little while, uh, before I got into Trainer Road and I do, I do like Zwift. I, I think it's a great, uh, you know, social experience, but 
Tell you what, guys, Trainer Road, in my opinion, is the way to go if you're looking for a structured indoor training program that's going to help get you faster on the bike. Can't beat Trainer Road. I'm not paid a dime for saying this. I pay the full price like everybody else. Um, just giving you my honest, 100% honest feedback. I love the Trainer Road program. I'm going to continue to do it, and I really cannot. I just, I just, I can't wait to see how far I can go. Uh, using Trainer Road, and uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick video here, kind of giving you my 12-week uh, recap review on my usage of the program. Love it. Think everybody should do it. I uh, can't recommend it enough. Um, so there you have it, guys. Just wanted to give you my, my my thoughts on Trainer Road. I hope you found the video informative. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support on the channel, and um, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, in my next video.